हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल और वेलकम इफ योर न्यू ओवर हेयर माई नेम इज ग्रृति सो इट्स बिन अ मिनट सिंस आई हैव अपलोडेड अ मेकअप ट्यू टॉर बिकॉज इट बिन सो लॉन्ग आई थॉट लेट्स गो बैक टू माई रूट द टी एल वाई एल सीरीज इफ यूर फॉलोइंग मी सिंस you know the start of my channel you'll know exactly what it is it basically you guys tagging me in a makeup look on instagram you'll have to follow me over there and tag me on a makeup look you'll like and i sort of recreate that makeup look for y'all uh so that's what the tlyl series is and i thought it would be just perfect right now since the met gala just went by there were such amazing looks my two favorite have to be rehana and जी जी हदी रेहाना ओवरऑल लुक वॉज जस्ट परफेक्शन शी नेल्ड इट विद द थीम सो या बट डिसाइड दैट आई थिंक जी जी हदीद लुक सो फ्लॉलेस हर मेकअप हर मेकअप ओके फॉर टेज वीडियो इज अ मेकअप लुक दैट जी जी हदीद डिड फॉर द मेट कैरा टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड द रिक्वेस्ट वॉज गिवन बाय Also, if you're new over here and you haven't subscribed us yet, you know what to do. Go hit that subscribe button and also that bell button so you're notified every time. And if you enjoy this video, also give it a thumbs up at the end. So, without any further ado, let's get into recreating this makeup look. I'm starting off with a moisturizer as usual. So, this one is the Cetaphil moisturizer. It's really good for people with dry and sensitive skin. Even though my skin is on the oilier side, I like to use a good moisturizer when it comes to dewy makeup looks. Today I'm trying out a new foundation. This is by Wet and Wild, and it is the Photo Focus foundation. Uh, this is supposed to give no flashbacks, and uh, it's supposed to be really good for photography. So I thought it would be perfect. I am usually in the shade Golden Beige, and this one is Golden Beige. But uh, clearly, I have tanned this summer, so it's a little lighter. But uh, I think in a few days, once this tan goes away, this foundation would fit me really perfectly. Really good coverage. Only I think it smelled a little weird. Lowered the foundation, so that was one drawback. Otherwise, I really liked the finish of the foundation. It had like a semi-matte finish. Next, I wanted to go in with a concealer cum highlighter, and so I went in with my Maybelline Age Rewind. This is in the shade Neutralizer. It's quite light for my skin tone. Yes, uh, I used to have the shade Light, which was very perfect. for my skin so uh, i wanted to go a shade lighter this time when i'm purchasing it and uh, yeah it's not bad i actually quite like it now let's go on to setting the face i'm using the wet and wild contouring palette this is in the shade caramel toffee i'm using the setting powder side it's a really nice yellow undertone uh, setting powder reminds me of the makeup revolution banana setting powder but uh, this is a more compact form and it's really really strong as you can see so if you notice in gigi's makeup her contour is pretty strong and so i'm going in with a liquid contour this is the ybp color cream the shade is called the witch and i'm just putting that on my jawline and my cheekbones my forehead my nose just contouring the usual areas But yep, for it to last long, I'm going to go in with the bronzing powder from the same Wet n Wild contouring palette, and just very lightly, I'm going to top it up uh, and sort of give it a nice strong shape. Now this is a little too strong, but I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender just once again after all the powders are in place. I'm going to move on to the eyes for now and I'm using that same bronzing powder that I used on my cheekbones just as a transition shade I'm using an eye shadow brush and I'm just going to put that above my crease so that the colors blend easier Also I'm going to put that in my lower lash line as well Next I'm going in with the Nykaa Crazy in Love palette and uh, this has all the shades that we would need so I'm going to go in with this mauve purplish shade and again with a tapered brush I'm going to put that in the outer corner just like I'm doing over here All these brushes are from shein.com just in case you're wondering all the links of all the products are in the description bar below So yes I did put that in my lower lash line as well the same shade and also in the inner corner just like you can see over here the middle part is going to be that shimmer that Gigi has on but yeah this is our base shade 
If you ever want to add some dimension to your eyeshadow, simply go in with a darker shade in the outer corner. So that's what I'm doing here. I've taken a black eyeshadow and I've used the uh, Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. That was the mirror I was using. So uh, the black shade was right in front of me. And yeah, so I'm just going to put that in the outer corner just a slight bit and it's going to give so much more dimension to your whole eye look. Now so the shimmer in the middle pops, I'm just going to wet my brush with some setting spray and I'm taking this goldenish shade from the same palette and with a flat brush, I'm going to be applying that on the center of my lid. If you notice in her picture, it's very slight but you need to really look at the detail. She's actually dragged it all the way up in a triangle and she's done the same for the bottom. To make it more prominent, you can use some liquid liner. I'm using a glitter liner over here and uh, just gonna top it up with that. She has a really thin liner going on as well. And so I'm going in with my Nykaa Get Winged Liner. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make that a little thick on the outer side towards my wing. And it's gonna be thin on my overall lash line. Nothing too dramatic, but it really makes your eyeshadows pop even more. Now for mascara, I'm going in with my Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline and I'm just gonna apply that on my top and lower lashes. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with a white kajal. This is by Bella Voste. And now for the inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight, this is really close to what she has on. It's a rose gold shade is what I can describe it like. So yeah, I'm just gonna use that. She's kept her brows really light and natural, but I naturally have thick eyebrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the gaps in my eyebrows and not go too dark. And yeah, just shape them nicely. All done with the eyes. Coming back to the face, I'm using this Porcalio face palette. I love this palette. So I'm using the blush on from here. And in the same way, like I did my contour, I'm just going to sort of go a centimeter higher and just put my blush on in the same way just like I noticed she has on. Taking the highlighter from the Focalio palette itself, this uh, palette is in the number 03 by the way. So uh, the highlight from this palette is really perfect, comes close to what she has on and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna use a fan brush, put that on all of the high points of my face to make it glow. It's time to set all those powders in place and make it melt into your skin. So I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime Spray and I'm using that all over my face. A really generous amount so that it looks all natural and glowy. And the last part for the lips, she has a really nice contoured, uh, glossy effect going on. So I'm using two Bella Voste lip glosses and uh, this comes close to what she has on. It's a nude and a pink mix. The shades and link are in the description bar. And with that, we are all done with this makeup look.